O Destrox YPHD falou, Gal, pode ficar, confia. Vou ficar, mano. Postdrop.g é o novo site para você abrir suas caixas com segurança e poder retirar milhares de skins. Entre pelo link da descrição, utilize meu cupom ALEARTS para ganhar 25% de bônus no seu depósito, vários modos para você depositar, você pode utilizar cartão de crédito, BTC e até boleto bancário. Agora você não tem nenhuma desculpa. Boa sorte! Play Store. Compre, venda e faça upgrade de skins com os melhores preços do Brasil. Venda suas skins e receba seu dinheiro de forma rápida e segura, com pagamento à vista para qualquer banco. Acesse agora playstore.com. Rotate and how they want to bundle up together, and you can see so many CTs concentrated over here towards connector. So far, equal exchanges break out in the bathrooms, but KNG looking to take the advantage, and he does. And nicely done, the trades go somewhat evenly here, and now it's time to try to get that bomb to a bomb site. But they're cut off from an ability to do so. Taco there. Oh, go! Oh, nice shots coming through from him, and also Fallen to finish it off. It was... As they are trying to make their stroll down the park of Long A for up close to the MP9. This could be devastating, and a lot of money being fought by Fern. Indeed, it will be. He gets three. At this point. Yeah, they're pretty boned. And so it's the case of them maybe getting lucky and maybe seeing a That's actually a good couple of smokes to create space. Fallen playing around the side here. This is a really good angle, but still X7. Stunning shot. Will take Fallen down. Now it's up to Mayan as he begins to walk his way up the short position. And again, Ents don't know precisely where he can come from. They've got some good positions, but no one's looking for this. Oh no, maybe Ali will have it in the lavatory. There we go, first, we'll get challenged. Good support from Fallen there, gets the double on the defense here, and Ensa no better off, it seems, in terms of positioning. MIBR have held on nicely. Sunny in position towards Connector. That, I mean, that's, that is a small win, but yeah. they don't have short controls, so... Also, I'm sorry I was so aggressive with that. To be fair, the map is based in Germany, so probably Vasse is the, the, right, the right call. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Honest, I like it. You know, got, got to salvage what... PR can, but either way, we are going to see Ents having to try to work with just these three remaining members here towards whatever you want to call those halls. I'll go with bathrooms for now, just because it's easy. Trying to see if they can't find something towards the A side, but good defense from Main Brazil across the board, really. Yeah, this is beginning to be a bit desperate for them. They will arrive towards the A side with decent amount of time. But there is a forward position, and that's fallen with that M4. He's fairly weak, but he, let's see if he'll go and check there. It's a, an off angle that he's playing. And that's a really good way to have fallen and get a one and done here. Oh, beautiful, turns around. They are gonna go hard on that connector control and the early B defense here, and they're gonna be right to do so because in comes that huge B play. Taco swapping out the weapon there. Beautiful work from him. He's absolutely crushed the push. There's no entry at all through Monster. They've blown up the play completely and left Ents without anything to work with. Ali's just going to back away. It's almost one of those situations where it seemed like Ents were just trying to figure out how much can I really get away with at B because they've been barreling at B a couple of rounds now. Obviously, one of them was kind of an easy one because it was an eco, but they also had a nice little fast, you know, B play on the gun round not so long ago. And Ali's like, I'm trying to get rid of this op as much as he possibly... Finally, he's done it. Nice. <laughs> Been shooting for that goal for a while, as uh, he knows that his chances of saving the AWP are pretty slim with this many CTs left standing, and this much time left on the clock. Now he's going to do a taco and try yep. to get some value out of the deagle, get some kills. Smart stuff from Ali. Oh, so close there. He has no idea how close he was. Maybe. Fallen is moving forwards with the or with the M4. Not with the AWP, Ali's on the AWP. <gasps> Ali's been annihilated by Fallen there. That's a beautiful burst. That's the only way you can maybe try to win this one. And he finds Sunny. Sunny had no idea. As we see, Ali and Sunny still trying to clear everything out here. They are split push on the long and mid. 
Ali with the pistol out, even though he has an AWP on his back. And Sunny seems like he realizes one might be there, but he focuses on sight instead. It's an even trade. KNG trying to lock things down, but Alu says nay, finds the bomb, and has a chance to win the one versus one. He will get this plant. He plants for bank, and while he has low health, he's going to be able to get some good post-plant positioning. I would love him to go up and dice. Oh no! He gets spotted on the cross through the gap in the smoke. Such a small gap, too. It, it feels like it feels like that's kind of favorable because <laughs> he gets like, he gets to peek with the you know get some info, but right. but no, it actually backfires enormously. My God! What and talking about clutches and just winning unexpected rounds to turn the match. And with this game being so close, this round matters even more. Ooh, the shadow. There's the flashbang for you don't often see the boost setups too commonly, but this time they'll run it, and this time it'll work. Will they run it again? Hard to say, but as you mentioned, Dust, this is a really important round. So they're pulling out you know, a couple gimmicks here and there yeah. to try to get those edges moving forward. So they've got the 5v4, they can fall back into the bomb site, and they've just got a great catch-all setup right now. They don't have to worry about any variants, they can just hold back at this point. Absolutely. You can kind of see they have that mojo about them again, you know, making these, you know, smart, kind of crafty, crafty plays, not overextending after they get the advantage, being able to fade back, play more standard as they need to, fall in with the op in his hands, a map that he is so classically known for. This, we know that CT opping on overpass can be very impactful, and Fallen was one of the greats at doing it in the past. Look at the utility left on ends as well, especially after losing Ariel. They've yeah. got two smokes and Molly and two flashes. That's it. It's not too much to execute a sight with. Not at all, Dan. Not at all. And also, they've been slowed down by Fawns and Sinere in the bathroom, so that makes things even worse. But they are going to have to commit to A here soon. They're running out of time. They're all gathered up here. Here it is. There's the fate. Paul is making a lot of noise, and there's the, his position reveal. He gets two, and then in the distraction, Fallen plays off of that to pick up a frag of his own. That setup has worked out way too well. Ali with a nice, precise headshot, but there is still much more to be done. He has no time at all. Has to fall back. Yeah, not too much to do. Look how oppressive that presence of the CT side is. Just that deep incendiary it just cuts off half of the entire map. The other half is being accounted for by by uh, KNG, Yanji, and finally there'll be a trade on to Fur. But again, the losses have been so severe that it it leaves Sunny in a horrible position. The bomb is lost in the playground, and Sunny is just hanging out. Has to open the door as soon as he does that. They know exactly where he is, so doesn't want to do that. Wants to at least give this his best try. Economic damage would go away here, actually. That would actually be a realistic objective that could impact the short term of MIBR. So, Sunny looking for some kills. Yeah, mine as well. So he will begin to creep up over here towards the fountain area. As you noted, the bomb is down behind him here in the playgrounds. KNG the one giving watch on that with the low health. Sunny trying to circumvent that as he creeps around the opposite side. Might be able to catch KNG off guard, who's probably looking at the other angle. All going to come down to that, ooh, timing. Doesn't quite spot him. And Sonny tries to see if he can catch his CP. A little bit vulnerable elsewhere, but instead he finds Fallen AWP. He's very, very good at being that trade fragger. Definitely a lot of mechanics, but they're actually going to back off. They have, like, Lurk at long A, and the rest is going to be heading towards B. This will be very interesting on how they decide to play this. Will Ariel backstab? Will he just flank late to try to cut off the retake? There's so many options. Really killing the clock here. They've got that lurk set up outside long. The presence stepping is heard by Fur. He'll peak, and he doesn't win the fight. KNG with a quick trade. That means everything. A man goes close to the smoke. They're going to have to go through this. He knows he's going to get the spray out. Gets himself a double headshot. Taco there for support. We'll shut it all down, and there's nothing left on that B-bomb site. And that's a 9-6 finish for MIBR. Absolutely. A great, strong finish for Made in Brazil to give them a pretty nice lead coming into the pistol here. The second half, they waste no time plowing into B, but they're meeting some really stiff resistance from Sunny and Ariel. Sunny with three, in fact, leaving KNG all by his lonesome with no bomb control and really no hope for this world at this point. Well, this is indeed a hopeless situation. <laughs> Let me just, just dancing, dancing around. Yeah. Delaying the inevitable path, and indeed, Genji will go down. 
back. All comes down to timing, and yes, indeed, he's taking a lot of damage, but he's able to get away into Connector at the very least, and Aldu has his back. But unfortunately, not for long, as KNG's uh -huh. Deagle will break out, but somehow, Sergei survives. And he's still going. What, what is happening? How is Sergey still in this fight? Finally, Taco deals with him, but at a, such a huge cost. Yeah, he got a dink onto Taco as well. Doesn't seem quite right, does it? No, it's it's, it's pretty insane. Ooh, nice. There's That's a big tag. And oh, those tags are so huge. It's just That turns it into just a deagle body shot. And you're on the body, and that guy is gone. And oh, he has an MP5. And he's going to nail the tagged player. So 3v2 towards that A bomb site now. They're going to close in on Ariel. He's been pretty phenomenal this series. He's got a lot to do it here. And that smoke is actually going to isolate a 1v1 for Ariel. He's loving that. He will eventually go down to the scouts. And now Sonny on the flank. They don't know where he is. But now this, well, they found out now. So what can they do about it? Sonny. Is he going to take the long way around? That actually probably won't work out too well for him. There is a two-man long setup ready, but if he can catch him on the surprise, he can't. Very clever from Fallen. He's checking for that. Now Sonny has to force the issue at the front of the bomb site. This is going to be desperate now. Not much you could really hope for at this point if you're Sonny. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. And KNG trying to keep the tide at bay. The Zerg army is going to swarm towards the connected position, and Mayoni's got the siege tank. And they're all gone. How many StarCraft references are you going to get in this year? As many as I can. I, yeah, I, I, I think he just walked into the first bullet of another full bang attempt. Marco, though, with the flashbang, that's worked out really well. Explosive effort, changing up the pace to great effect, to great impact. And they've got the bomb down. They've got the 3v2 after plant. Ents are out of position. The flank is coming from Alu. Mm. But how much is it going to do? Nothing, I would imagine, now, as he's all alone, and they have all their bases covered here in this post lane range Brazil. You almost wonder if Alu just back off, but no, he tries to take a fight that he cannot win. KNG with the SG. Though Ariel is quick to get one of his own, and oh my goodness, they have Taco down now as well. They actually have a main advantage in an AK in Ariel's hands, who already has two kills, and he has armor. So this gets scary. Smoke does go down on the bomb. Fallen in position, trying to deal with it. And no, it's all on Fallen now. Fallen feeds them. He's getting fed the kills, but can he stop this defuse? He runs out of bullets. He goes in with the knife. He's oh! away. Oh no, but he does win anyway off the timer. A stressful one. No doubt about that. Oh, no. But they do come out on top, man. Oh my. But they got to get that plant down and fall back off the site here into safer territory. But it doesn't seem like they're too confident to fall back here. Fur goes for a, a peek around the dice. And then they're, they're not able to fall back here. Fallen's going to have to play this position almost alone. He has KNG with him, but the CTs are going to be able to swing this together. Fallen's going closer to the position. There it is. They get ahead of the play. And MIBR, you feel like they squandered this one. It will be a great round from Ents in, in, in terms of a recovery, but will be laid down back onto the monster tunnel. Here for the CTs, and there they go. The swing is pretty good, actually, for MIBR around the pillar. X7 is going to jump straight through the smoke and back in again as he tries to escape, but there is no escape. It's up to Sergei. Eight seconds left. They're going to stop the plant here, and he will be eliminated. Sergei goes down in the round. Straight because of the defense that Ents had set up, but somehow, some way, maybe they'll trade their way through it all. Pure brute force gets them into series point. Alu takes his op towards Monster. It's a new look, but he misses a big opportunity. No harm, no foul, he gets away, but that could have gave his team an advantage, and now it allows May Brazil to spill out, and they're trading their way into B. Ents is holding on for dear life, though, and they're getting the kills they need. It's all on Fur. He's found one, but it's the 1v1 against Sunny. It's all going to come down to this, and Fur, he's done it. He's sending it home. Very well played. Very well played indeed to MIBR.